Number one, not getting focus on your telescope. Well, this is a very natural mistake. It's a mistake that most of us have at the beginning. I remember at my beginning when I pointed to the moon and the only thing I could see was a big white blurry bulb. Amazing. <laughs> That's normal, don't panic and stay with me because at the end of this video I will give you a link to a video which explains very well how to focus your telescope. And this is for all the telescopes, not only for Dobsonians. Number two, over collimation. Sometimes beginners get in panic about collimation, even before buying the Dobsonian. The thing is, once you start collimating and learning the process, it's very easy. Sometimes it's true, it's an issue, but it's easy. So a beginner tends to think when something's wrong with a view through an eyepiece, that is because it's a collimation problem. And sometimes it's not. Could be the focuser, could be the bad position of the focuser, could be the scene, could be bad focus, could be atmosphere, light pollution, light leaks on the focuser or on the tool. So that generates stress and stress is no good. We want to have fun. Besides, you can start learning the collimation and have a decent collimation just to have fun with your telescope and you start learning the process until you get it. Once you get it, it's done. Choose your collimation tool wisely. You can use a collimation cap, you can make one, it's almost for free. You can start with a cheap laser, although I don't like the lasers, but you can start with that just to have a decent collimation and then choose the collimation tool that fits you better. To me is the Concenter, a very simple and nice collimation tool, not cheap but not very expensive, and it's for life. I wouldn't change it for any other collimation tool, even the more expensive ones, because this one is simpler and get you to the goal, to have this properly collimated. So don't ever panic about that. Learn the process quietly, step by step, having fun with your Dobsonian. And that leads to... Number three, not having fun. Please have fun with your telescope. This is not a competition to see who is the best astronomer, who is the best astrophotographer, who has the best picture. This is to have fun by yourself, with your family and with your friends, whatever. Just connect with the sky. We are humans. We want to connect with the sky because we are curious about what's in the universe. We want to know, we like to imagine if there's other life beyond this planet. It's our nature, our DNA. All of us want to know why we are here. And astronomy helps us to understand, at least to watch what surrounds us in a higher scale, the universe. So the telescope, any telescope, is a powerful tool to connect with the sky. Have fun with that. This hobby is wonderful to get rid of the stress. Do it. Number four, buy a bunch of cheap eyepieces. This one is amazing. Everywhere you can see people asking, I bought my telescope, I bought my Dobsonian, what eyepiece should I buy now to upgrade? Then you see the answers. Well, buy the Televu, buy this, buy that. And of course, usually they are too expensive for a beginner because the beginner just spent a lot of money in the telescope. And when he spent the money, he didn't realize that he had to buy more, more things. Then using the default eyepieces, which nowadays are pretty decent with the commercial Dobsonians, instead of stick with those eyepieces and thinking other things to upgrade, more important things, the first question is, to buy a better eyepiece, but a cheap one. So this is a huge mistake in my opinion, because you end up buying loads of cheap eyepieces and later in the future, sooner or later, you will want to upgrade those eyepieces because they are not very good. So the best to do is stick with the eyepieces that came with the telescope and save the money to a decent eyepiece, not the most expensive eyepiece, but a decent one. First, you have to learn what fits your telescope better, your eyes, everything. 
and then you will choose wisely at least a middle range IPs like Explore Scientific, the APM, etc. etc. Which are not super expensive, but will be for life. Nonetheless, if you have the money and want to spend it, buy a Televu and build a nice collection of eyepieces. Worth to have a bit of patience. And I'm very curious to know how many eyepieces do you have? Put me in the comments, please. How many? Number 5. Expectations. Usually a beginner has high expectations. After seeing all over the internet very nice pictures with a telescope, a beginner by a telescope thinking that will watch something like that or similar. The bad news are that it's not like that. You can only see without color in black or white, almost in black or white, some faint colors you can see in certain objects, but generally no. In addition to that, the most part of the objects you will see like faint fuzzies, like a cotton ball, faint galaxies, faint nebula, and many nebulae you cannot see, especially if you have loads of light pollution in your observing site. Nonetheless, there are good news for you. Through an eyepiece, even being black and white, you can watch very nice bright objects in the sky. The planets are amazing using a Dobsonian telescope. Bright nebula like the Orion Nebula are great. The Moon, the Andromeda Galaxy and also some other galaxies. It will depend in your sky. And my favorites, the globular star clusters. There's nothing more beautiful to watch through an eyepiece than a globular star cluster with a Dobsonian telescope. If you feel you're getting value from this video, give a thumbs up to spread it and help more people all over the world. Also doing imaging sessions, EAA, Electronically Assisted Astronomy, or Astrophotography, or both, the expectations usually are too high for the reality. You start to take pictures, but then you realize that you have to spend more money in gear to have mm, better pictures. <laughs> In that matter, your goal shouldn't be take pictures like Hubble. Besides, to take very, very nice pictures, you have not only to spend that money, but also to spend time in learning and also post-processing those images, those frames, to get a final nice image. You can do that. Many people like it and many people do it. The thing is, most of the beginners don't think in that when planning the things. But for imaging, I also have good news for you. If you like the keeping simple way, like I do, you can do EAA, that means you can use a camera, your Dobsonian with tracking, to watch the sky through a laptop or other device, and then take your picture, or even do some astrophotography over that picture or all those frames. You can use the Dobsonian power as no one to watch through an eyepiece, to watch through a laptop and also to take a good picture. And to learn how to do that, click on this video about EAA for beginners. And also as I promised in the beginning of this video, if you struggle to focus your telescope, click on this video and learn how to focus properly your telescope.